just a little bit of context. I'm sure everybody knows where is Corsica, but uh, for this presentation, it's important to have in mind that uh, it's the, an island uh, very close to <coughs> Sardinia and Italy, and that uh, geographically, it's mostly mountained area. There is only uh, a few coastal plains. And ge geologically, we are in a um, magmatic uh, island. So the two thirds of the island are made of uh, magmatic rocks. And the other third is made of uh, various of uh, metamorphic uh, rocks. And uh, the mapable materials are be can be found only in the magmatic parts of the island. So all these parts. And those materials are mostly rhyolites or quartz. Um, there is no chert, no obsidian uh, in Corsica. So the, um, the rocks that I'm interested in is uh, rhyolites. It's a uh, siliceous uh, volcanic rock, uh, very fine grain, and it can be found in Corsica with um, quite uh, discrete dikes along the um, batalite of uh, granite. So this material is, is uh, interesting because um, we can find rhyolites on everybody neolithic sites in Corsica. And the origin of um, exogenous materials have been studied for a long time in Corsica, uh, like shot and obsidian, that, and we know that for a long time now that uh, almost all these materials come from the neighboring Salinia. But uh, a little no is um, a little. We know only a little about uh, the local uh, lithic materials, and like uh, quartz and rhyolites. And these materials can provide uh, another type of um, information on more local and regional scales. So previously, um, the characterization of uh, rhyolites in Corsica have been doing by petrography and visual identification, which can, which can be destructive and is probably not really precise geographically. So we tried a new way to characterize uh, those materials, which is uh, with the geochemistry. And basically, we are adapting protocols that have been used <coughs> with uh, Obsidian for a long time. So we can define a, a, geo a geochemical uh, footprint for each deposit. It's non-destructive because we are using uh, X-ray fluorescence analysis. I will not talk about uh, technical aspect in this presentation, but uh, there is an article about it if you are interested in. Uh, but uh, unlike obsidians, uh, rhyolites are very heterogeneous, and there is many potential sources, which can be a real problem. Because that's what, we, that's what it looks when I plot all my geological sources uh, with the um, chemical uh, concentration. So it's completely messy as a first look. But uh, in fact, uh, I will show with a few examples that I can, I can find uh, the origin of some artifact on archaeological sites. So I will start with two, two sites, sites from early Neolithic. Um, that are still under study, so it's just a uh, first approach. And the third site uh, from late Neolithic uh, is completely over, so this will be a, a good um, idea of what we can really know with uh, this kind of studies. So the first site is uh, Renage. Uh, Renage is um, a site uh, in the south of Corsica, here. And um, all the rhyolites that have been found on this site are um, exploited from uh, two local sources. And there is only a few pieces uh, that come from the river. And what is interesting is that um, there is a few pieces that come from uh, this region uh, in the north, which is today by road uh, something like more than 200 kilometers. And um, so there is a correspondence with, um, with the geological pieces that we found in this region, and also with tools uh, that have been found in Petra, which is another early Neolithic site. 
Um, and in APETRA, we found we have, uh, we have only studies a part of the lytic series. It's uh, not even a hundred, but the series like uh, 5,000 realized. And on what we have seen, there is no cortex river, um, no river cortex. There is only rhyolites that have been directly mined on primary sources. And what is interesting is that uh, there is no local sources. They have been searching for rhyolites in the mountainous area uh, of the Monte Cinto here. And um, unlike uh, in Renage, there is no correspondence with an uh, artifact from, from this part of, uh, of Corsica. So there is rhyolites that come from the north to the south, but there is no rhyolites that come from the south to the north. <coughs> and the site that is completely done now, uh, it's uh, Monte Barbat. It's a uh, late Neolithic to Middle Bronze Age uh, settlement uh, in south of Corsica. It's a site on a, on a hilltop, just uh, over there, and there is a nice view uh, on the sea, uh, on, the, uh, on the first side, and the other side, a uh, view on all the mountains. And when we plot uh, all the uh, rhyolites uh, that have been analyzed on this site, we can see at first sight that there is um, 16 groups of composition, which mean at least uh, 16 different uh, geological sources. And we can find some correspondence with, with uh, the, so the sources that we have on our uh, geological, geological referential. Uh, so most of these regolites come from um, a local sources, which is less than one kilometer away. It's uh, that kind of regolites. And there is also realized that come from Pastini, which is um, a source near, near the seat of uh, Bonage. <coughs> and uh, also from North Corsica, uh, still the same area of uh, the Monte Cinto. So there is some correspondence with the uh, artifact on the other side too, because uh, even if we don't have all the geological sources, we can build links uh, between uh, between uh, sites, archaeological sites. So there is PC, there is uh, the same sources used in uh, Renaggio, Icaranti, which is a um, uh, calcolytic site really near of uh, Monte Barbat. And sometimes we don't have uh, the actual geological sources, but uh, only with um, the chemical concentration or uh, by looking to the cortex, uh, the kind of things, we can have, we can still have uh, an idea of um, of the, the provenance of the artifact. So when I put uh, this information on the map, I can see that uh, there is a um, uh, diffusion from the Pastini Plateau, which is new because uh, we didn't we didn't know that uh, these sources uh, diffuse in uh, in Corsica. Uh, and we can see that uh, all the sources um, are situated on the west coast of uh, Corsica, and there is nothing in the mainland, even if uh, we know that there is a lot of potential sources of uh, daylights there. So I think there is maybe um, a coastal axis of uh, diffusion that um, is that going from Sardinia to maybe Italy, and the passing be, uh, between the, this coast of, uh, of, of Corsica, because uh, there will, of course, uh, other materials than rhyolites on, uh, on the site, and there is a lot of, um, of obsidians that come from Monte Archi, then some flint from Montiferro and Perfogas, and after that, Pastini from rhyolites, the archaeological site, the um, Chinto and the uh, Fongo Valley in the northwest for more lights. And after that, uh, we know that uh, obsidian can go uh, to the south of France or even more far away in um, 
Spain. So in conclusion, we can we have um, we can verify that uh, the methodology that is, is, is working and is well established. Um, it's just a, a start with um, archaeological uh, analysis. So I, sp I spend a lot of time um, by building my protocol, uh, analytical protocol, and I just start uh, the analysis of uh, archaeological data. So it's just some new data, some uh, first uh, first data, but uh, we can see that there is a probable 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 probab coastal uh, diffusion and uh, a different land use between north and south because um, like uh, something more mountainous in the north and more coastal in the south. And it's, it's interesting to see that um, the sources that have been found in the early Neolithic are still in use uh, in the late Neolithic. So they probably found most of the sources in a few generations. And it's interesting to integrate uh, the study of Aralites with uh, the study of church and obsidian, of course, because it's probably the same distribution network. Um, we'll have to check about uh, technology too. And it can provide a better definition, um, a more local definition of an already well-known action system between Corsica, Sardinia, and uh, the mainland. But uh, of course, there is still a lot that we have to do, uh, a new archaeological site uh, to investigate, new uh, lithic theory, and there is still a lot of uh, unknown geological sources, and the, the work to do with uh, geological sources is probably something like uh, a decade of thought before there is everything known. So, thank you. <laughs>